jury unanimously find the defendant, Jesse Williams, to be guilty of the offense of murder. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. It took a Smith County jury just 20 minutes to find Jesse Williams guilty of murdering Paula Belanger. And as KLTV 7's J.D. Conti reports, it took them the same amount of time to sentence Williams to life in prison. It has been a year and a half since anyone saw Paula Belanger alive. Today, her friends and family watched as her killer was found guilty. And again, when they learned he could never hurt anyone again. For a term of life. There is satisfaction in that, but at the same time, there's a sense of profound loss at the very end, knowing that this, it is final, that she is not going to be back with us. Robert Baldinell is Belanche's brother. He read a victim impact statement on behalf of his mother. It's a heartache that never ends. Jesse took a precious gift away from all of us and why we will never know or understand. Evidence showed that Williams and Belanche's phones traveled together on the evening of April 7th. Her necklace was found on a Rust County road where the phones briefly stopped. Phone records show searches on Williams' device, including how long does it take a body to decompose in hot weather? Belanche's body was never recovered. This is circumstantial evidence. We don't know these things right here. But from all this evidence, you know that Jesse killed Paula. The defense argued the state failed to meet its burden of proof. There was no definitive murder weapon and no blood evidence that tied Williams to her death. A phone, because that's their evidence. The state showed evidence of over a dozen of Williams' prior convictions in the punishment phase, including four assaults. And if there's an argument for a sentence of anything but life, I'd love to hear it. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News. And Williams will be eligible for parole in 30 years.